Welcome to our line, the large line. We are building our own cabin, which is going to be our house for the future. And it's a hard work. Our life gets complicated again. We have rented an excavator for the weekend to be able to dot the trenches for our future power line. Honey, when did you put that up? Surprise. My husband started putting the wrap around the house. Well, I think he's gonna only do the first row because he can't reach the second. He down the side too. We are having more than one single project started at the time. We need to wrap the house and finish up the OSB siding. One of the sides is not done yet because our genie lift came up a day later and that wasn't enough for us to finish up the wrapping of the house. Then the next is gonna be the roof. It's mid-September and we are expecting for the weather to change. Also to be ready, we need to draw the power line, install the windows and door and enclose the space under the house. Then we can work in the winter for the rest. We only have maybe a month left and we have to finish all of it. Installing the wrapping of the house by himself is not complicated, yet you need a little hand here and there. My husband managed to do everything without me. Again, he's amazing. We need an entrance to the home and we have to cut the wrap open. We are happy to have the wrap installed at least at the first floor in case the more rain is coming. And we are expecting more rain and that's gonna help us protect the house easier. Water damage is what is scaring us the most. We protected the house as much as we could during the building process and so far we managed very very well this is late Friday afternoon when we started clearing our way for the power line we are saving the topsoil for our future garden which is going to happen hopefully next year I can't wait to have my own vegetables. Forest life is amazing and I cannot stop enjoying it. Before we start the digging, we had to call in the local company to come and localize the existing wires under the ground because everything goes under the ground here. It is Saturday morning and before we start digging, we have to do some more prep work. First, we're taking pictures to make sure we know where the underground lines are. But when we're gonna dig, we're gonna lose those markings and we come up with an idea of flagging them up with the tread and that was really good because we could move the tread back and forth making sure that we're not gonna cut anything underground and to make life more complicated there are two lines that are crossing on top of each other because it's a, such a tight space the first dig was very stressful and the rest of it because we had to go three feet deep and the last 18 inches, which is closer to the power line, had to be dug by hand. A 
At this moment, we are looking for fire optic band, which is placed within few inches on top of the actual wire. That's very helpful because we don't want surprises. This is my very handy hammer, which I used for many diggings in different occasions. It's the best tool to have on hand, I feel like an archaeologue. And here we got really, really scared because we thought we cut off some of the wire which wasn't possible because we didn't use any machine and we only dug by hand but turn out that was a false alarm it's actually a piece of a uh, root of a uh, old tree who is not there anymore well that was a good scare for us After more work, finally we found the wire and now we know which way to go. Actually it was way deeper than it should have been, but probably that happened for a safety reason. Again, I could not stop enjoying all the nature has. I found these mushrooms and I'm very amazed by them. I know these are edible, but because I don't have time to do the research, I don't want to pick them up. These are inky mushrooms and I'm not 100% sure that I can have them. And some of them are shaggy mushrooms, which I understand are good. But we'll leave that for other time. Jewish mushrooms. Too bad that I don't have my mushroom book with me. To see if they're good or not. But... <laughs> Maybe they're personal. I don't want to touch them. But they're looking so good. And they're so many. These are the shaggy ones. The next day they all have been eaten by deers. I guess they are safe to eat, now I know. The inky mushrooms are secreting a gelatin and that gelatin sheds off the seeds for the next mushrooms to come. I should rather say spores. Well, I guess we're gonna have many more mushrooms in the future. We actually, my husband finally found the wire because I was busy looking for the mushrooms. He did, not me. And all the work he's doing is done by himself. I'm only helping here and there. With this occasion, I wanna remind everybody that we're building ourselves the cabin and then we are hoping that it's going to inspire other people to do so in building a debt-free hub. It is not easy, yet it's doable. With a lot of research, we managed to do so much. There is going to be our transformer and the meter base. I want also to thank everyone for subscribing and encouraging us. Doing YouTube video wasn't an our planning, yet we start doing it because a lot of people wanted to see what we we're doing and it was the easiest way to share with our friends and family. YouTube is new for us too.
How's it going, baby? I'm tired. As I mentioned, we started in the morning and it's about lunchtime. And my husband done almost everything. I didn't measure yet, but I believe it's all around 100 feet long and 3 feet deep, some places a little deeper. We used the tractor for about 6 hours, which included the cleanup time too. This is Sunday morning, the next day. Thank you for watching, we appreciate your time, please share, subscribe and see us next time. Back to hang digging. Yeah, the power line, we have to do it now. Time consuming. And energy. And 